France. Emerging for this crucial group game here, the tournament still in its relative infancy. But it is already developing into quite a spectacle, and that, of course, is what you expect from this, the greatest of all the tournaments. It has been terrific stuff so far, so let us hope that the trend continues here and now. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. There's the whistle. He's got options out wide. That is terrific skill. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Tries to get it forward quickly. Dembele. It's got through to him. Oh, great save! Tufiki hoists it forward. It's a throw in. It's not going to go down too well with his teammates. Now it's Dembele. Uh, more than... That's surely a foul free kick. Uh, the ref's been lenient here. And I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Hooks through there, into the box, header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Hernandez. Havar. And here's Dembele. He could be in here. And he's there to hoof it away. And it's been taken straight back. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. In comes the cross. Varane goes looking. Now it's Griezmann. Mbappe. He's pinged one through here. He's left his mouth. Has a pop! Goal! France! That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. France take the lead. 
Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. He's through, now is he in? Mbappe! And the ball's come out. Away from immediate danger. Aimed in, gets up to head it! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Rabio. Hernandez. And it's played forward. And they've been caught out here. Sackney. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Has a hit! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Kasri plays it short. Crosses it in. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. He gets past his man. Dembele's cross. Knocks it away. Tunisia, very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it and instructed to carry on doing it, then you find a way of making it work. And they are. Oh, good interception. There's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Rocket still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? France come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Rabio gets it back. Mbappe has set up one goal so far. Oh, it's Dembele. Going through. Can he find a finish now? Timely intervention. Forward it goes. Mbappe. And here's Dembele. Goalkeeper's ball. And it's Kasri. Kasri goes long. Well, that's where he wants it. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but... They're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. 
tries to get it forward quickly. Hernandez. Kasri. He's got away. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Griezmann is being withdrawn here, but he certainly made his mark. Yeah, he'll get a good ovation for his contribution. I'm not so sure why he's leaving us, though. There's no obvious sign of, of injury or fatigue. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. And the counter is on. Now then. He's been bundled over. That is a foul. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Kasri! And it's been taken short. Hernandez, he's got away. Now it's Giroud. It's a great ball. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. France are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Keeper's got good distance on that. Ball through needs to be good here. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Defending was strong and firm. And it's Giroud. France are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Oh, he's found... It's one! Thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Tunisia can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. So all square with almost no time remaining. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And here's Giroud, Mbappe, big chance, there it is! Listen, it's a massive contribution to help his team in front again, and his determination and stamina has enabled another late addition to, to typify his commitment from, from start to finish. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway.
France take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. And there goes the final whistle. France come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. Three games, three wins. A 100% strike.